Reconciliation is a word that we have heard over and over again since the end of the war. Whether the results live up to the talk, however, remains debatable. In our next story, we hear about a youth organization that wants to take the word reconciliation and really work towards making it mean something. Early in 2009, youth-based organization Sri Lanka Unites held a conference with 400 student leaders around the country to promote reconciliation in all areas of post-war Sri Lanka. Determined to ensure that this conference won't be the last of its kind, the organization called together a gathering of civil society leaders and donor representatives to participate in the launch of a short documentary about their conference and its results. During the conference, which lasted a total of five days, all the participants had to live, work, eat and sleep together in different groups and learn to communicate with those they had been randomly grouped with. During each day, the student leaders heard from inspirational speakers and learned about using leadership for the good of promoting reconciliation, as well as the important role they could play within their own communities in terms of bridging barriers of the past. One world championship and two U.S. titles. They listened to and appreciated music belonging to different cultures, discovered how sports could overcome linguistic divides, and painted messages of peace and their hopes for a reconciled Sri Lanka in the not-so-distant future. Members of Sri Lanka Unites describe themselves as a youth movement for hope and reconciliation and have made it their primary objective to take a different approach to achieving sustainable peace. They believe that Sri Lanka's youth have the most capability to work on the ground and in their own communities without bureaucracy and without politics. Om Sri Lanka ini setuladi, ini taruna taruna hadapat tuladi. Yang samnya agena, yang kami anita agena, anuna agena, anita agena garukiri mana? Ek, ek, ek bata urne mama hadala dina. Ting ekai mage kapi mama mage asha ba mami itri itu dah kira kami ti. Ek tu Sri Lanka ba. The concepts studied by the student leaders at the conference last year were not allowed to be forgotten after the five days were over. Student leaders were expected to go back to their hometowns or villages and start up Sri Lanka Unites clubs, during which they would teach other children like themselves what they had learned and continue to grow in their understanding of what reconciliation means for Sri Lanka. We have a syllabus every week when they meet. It may be watching a movie about reconciliation, it may be going and doing a project in your community, it may be learning about Mandela. So every week they learn. And we've made this, we've written these studies out. And what they learn in their clubs of 50, 100 or 200 in some places, they would put it online. And so we, they report to us and then we evaluate what they've learned. And so from that they come up with certain projects of they say, okay, now as leaders we need to impact society. Reconciliation is not just feeling warm and fuzzy in your heart and going back home, but making a difference. Uh, it could be a small Erosha, a 19-year-old prefect from Methodist College in Colombo and one of the student leaders who attended the launch, talked about what she planned to do with the Sri Lanka Unites Club she formed at her school. There's a huge amount of people who really need help in Colombo itself. So, we, we, we uh, had this project, we made this, uh, uh, we, we tried to reach out to them and then uh, to uh, actually choose some schools who are less privileged and um, get uh, to know the children and actually carry out this plan to, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, uh, we got to know that uh, they ha don't have enough uh, textbooks and, you know, studying equipment. So we were uh, trying to provide them with, uh, with those. The organization has received criticisms in the past about their approach to reconciliation, that they are only tackling surface issues and also that they are acting without a clear plan of how they will sustain their project. While admitting to shortcomings in terms of expertise and experience, they say they are committed to improving upon their work and learning from civil society leaders who would be willing to help them. There have been um, a few groups of people who have questioned our approach um, as to whether just having these um, kids coming down for five days 
and going away would solve the problem. So I, I think the, the the issue is that we I think we need to communicate our strategy better because it's it's an, it's a new type of approach. The question of sustainability comes up um, and how much of an impact this could have beyond the five days. We want this to reach a certain critical mass in the regions, in the grassroots, where then these kids will go to their local leaders, go to their community leaders, whether it be politicians or just private sector, civil society leaders in their local communities, and say, listen up, we, we know what we're talking about now and we want you to do something about it. Whatever the external criticisms, student participants of the Sri Lanka Unites Conference seemed enthusiastic about their experiences there. I'm from Mana. 18-year-old Elijah, whose parents were displaced from Nallur Jaffna to Mana in 1990, is happy that he is involved in something he feels is a meaningful step towards a Sri Lanka without divisions of ethnicity. When I got here and when I saw that there were so many people who are so passionate about reconciliation and there are so many people who believe in equality and who believe that there is a chance for Sri Lanka even, even after 30 years of war. I was uh, so pleased that, uh, that I got actually associated with, associated with such people and I'm really thankful uh, to Sri Lanka Unites for giving me this uh, most wonderful opportunity to coll collaborate with them. Whether the organization will make its mark on Sri Lanka's reconciliation process remains to be seen. But in the meantime, they are at least doing something and taking a different approach to a problem in Sri Lanka that no one has yet been able to fix. All these years, I feel that youth were not seen as part of the solution. They were seen as the people who created the chaos, who didn't understand what they were doing and so on and so forth. But now if we see them as part of the solution and as the next generation of Sri Lanka, and invest in them with that mindset, then we will see lasting change.